to Diving with Ice and Debroniac. Here's your host, Ice and Debroniac. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, but I still forgot about it. Uh, that's never gonna get old. How's it going, everyone? It is Sunday, which means time for more ROM dumpster diving. <laughs> so let's not waste any time. Just get right to it. And it looks like the first game you're starting with. Ooh. Oh. This Start. is interesting. Right. Starting, Starting with the Starting Exotic Graphics 16. Starting and Exotic today, are we? <laughs> Let's see, what did I have for... T oh, fairly classic game. I I'm, I'm totally down for this. Uh, but yes, you I'm, can stop I'm, playing now. <laughs> I'm half expecting either Bonk or... Actually, I don't know what else I'm expecting. Because <laughs> really, because real, really, Bonk's the only, the only constant. Because <laughs> Bonk yeah. was the mascot after all for a while. Well, you'd be right. This is indeed Bonk's adventure. Ah, the first one. <laughs> yes, and also Atlas. That's not for show. Atlas did help develop this game. Now, as far as I can tell, Bonk's Adventure came out for multiple systems, yet... Uh, the, N really... the NES game is the closest to this. The Game Boy game's a different game altogether. But yes, this really is the flagship title for what should be setting the tone for the Turbo Graphics 16 at the time. The only other one I can think of that might have set the tone is Keith Courage, and let's just say... That was the initial pack-in game anyway. This one was what got packed in later, so it's safe to say they replaced him, so... Yeah. <laughs> plus, that was an anime... Plus, that was based on an anime anyway, so... Indeed. They probably would have, wouldn't have had the license for that long. And before anyone says anything, no, no, nothing has happened as of yet. This is just a demo plan right now. But to give you a general idea of how this is going on, and... I'm trying to think why else it would stand on the top of that volcano side to get points. This was actually being developed in 1989 when the system was first released or so. At any rate, let's get started. So, this probably was ready, but they just didn't have it ready at the time, so. There we go. But yeah, if you, pre if, you hold if you press the jump button, I believe, right as you're springing up, you'll jump. Yeah. That was what Twin... Yes, it, it is what twipped me up earlier. What tripped me up earlier is that it's one thing if you press and hold up and then jump, but also jumping right when you make contact. Watch out, the one in the middle's a mimic. Code up demonstratum. Also, for anyone curious, it's Latin for in demonstration. Usually usually when something happens right as you explain it. I got it from SGB. I was gonna say, since uh, that quote was used so much in um <sighs> You trying to remember the playthrough that they were that they did that with? No, I'm thinking of something completely different at this point. Um I'm trying to remember what's his name. Um, I'm thinking of Retsubre at this point, in case you're wondering. Um, what with the. Uh, I won't get too hungry. Negotiator up, systems. Or series of sorts. Of course, continually pressing. 
the easiest way you can tell if a if a uh, plan is a mimic is if it's not doing the breathing animation. And Super Meat makes you invincible right away. Would that mean Bonk was the original Super Meat Boy? Well, Super Meat Boy doesn't eat meat. He is the meat. But I'm saying, so at no, the time, would that so make no, him... no, he's original? not the original Super Meat Boy. He could have been. Super Meat Boy would imply that he was made of meat. He He's not made of just meat. That cartilage and all that crap. Oh. So much for that smiley face. Yeah. And super. And this series did get newer games on the tur the uh, SNES. One of them was Japan only, and there was a remake of this for PS2 and GameCube that was also Japan only. Which is 2.5D, basically 3D models on a 2D plane. Which, or, I can or, see the why inverse, or the in, that. Or the inverse in the case of Klonoa as being the other, the other half. Honestly, it just means any mixture of the two. Actually, one that you probably know about, Strider 2, the PS1 game, that's technically... Mm -hmm. That's technically 2.5D. Strider 2, don't you mean Strider... Ah! Don't you mean Strider Returns, Journey of Darkness? No, I, I literally mean Strider 2. We don't talk about Strider Returns. That game was not that good. US, and that was U.S. Gold's fault for that. <laughs> because they were like, hey, Strider 1 sells, sells well on other platforms, let's make a sequel for computers, and they decided to port it to Genesis. Why? Because why not? Because money reasons. Also, yeah, don't think too much about don't think too much about this, folks. This is par for the course for a lot of bot games. Now, is there a real reason why I should be killing all these enemies? No. Uh, well, that's not gonna stop I, me anyway. I believe if you stay in there for too long, it will drain your health, though. I don't remember if, it, if I'm thinking of a different game or not, though. I might be thinking of Bonk too. All I know is that it does drain in the remake. I'm surprised it was never re-released on PSN, but I'm gonna blame Konami on that one. Because Konami. Considering they own Hudson Soft's assets now. And the buyout for them was like... Apparently it was, apparently they had a stake in them at the beginning, but they just went to full-on buyout in 2011. Which I did not know the second, the first part of that. That's part of the reason, that's the part of the reason why Bomberman Act Zero was even a Konami game in the first place. Well, we didn't lose a life yet, so I think we're sitting free for now. I say that as I take a hit. Don't worry, there's a heart right under that block there. So. Also, yeah, that's what I was like, saying. Don't think too much about it. Also, in the also in the remake, the top of that thing can actually hurt you, so don't do, so don't stand on it. Because they made it pointy. Oh well, yes, now it is time for a boss one. Oh, Bastille, how's it going? Bonk 1 and Bonk 2 share this same boss fight music. Why you? 
You're supposed to use the bubble. You, ideally, you want to use the bubbles to to pop on, like to get up to him and to start wailing away. If you if you use invisibility frames, though, you can get you can get up there and just continuously button mash and destroy his his helmet really quickly. Because this is actually a mind control helmet because the evil. The evil King Drool is... Yes, that's his name, by the way. The, king, the evil King Drool is trying to steal the moon. Literally. Original name, do not steal. So for those who think that... So for those who think that... Despicable Me did it first, no. You, you would be wrong. We are going to steal the moon! <laughs> Don't care, this is taking way too much time. Hey, I have hey, very what? little health. So I'll take You're whatever I You're playing it safe. Can. I'm not giving you shit for it. I'm this saying for everyone else watching. Plus, this is probably your first time playing the game anyway, so... First time playing? No. First time playing in a long while. Good gourd. Good, good gourd, yes. And that's... See, this is why you say good god, not good gourd, because that just got me killed. <laughs> <laughs> he, he will stay like that until you press a button. Which I am. Oh. It specifically has to be start. Which uh, is run uh, on the excuse turbo graphic. Me. Run. Huge difference. Okay, yeah, you're just doing... Now that you have the help for it, you're just doing my strat. Yeah, it doesn't matter. A whole lot better. I'm your new friend. Arf, arf, arf. <laughs> it's Dogmobile 0. 0.0. Rip him up. Round one cleared. That, that I. That, I feel, is angerish because normally they would put the two after that. Well, considering this game was developed in Japan, that's probably why. Also, the name of this guy's piece in Japan is PC Genjin. Genjin meaning caveman. And they did it, they did it as a pun on the Japanese name for the console. PC Engine. Genshin, uh, uh. It works. Are you? Wait. Much needed food. Go. Hey. The amount of smileys you get don't do anything. Oh, hey, you got 10,000 points. You got an extra life. Yay. In this game, the smileys are mainly used at the end, for, at the end of a boss fight for points. Which, the, if no one else could tell, at the end of round one, that's where it came in. Yeah, and, it, healed, and it brought you back to full health. This this is the place where you can get and now we have and now game. it's time to feed yourself with bonus food. Starting with the second game you would Ready. you wouldn't look for it. Go 
you wouldn't look for these. The, the way you would find it is, specifically, you'd have to look for a certain flower, which would take you to the bonus room. Or in the uh, case past of you, I'm doing quite well, actually. I'm just five um, followers away from reaching affiliate status and nothing else, so... Doing pretty good for myself. This bonus round, I say that. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have fucking said anything. I, I was gonna say, I'm doing pretty good at this now. Watch, there's gonna be a time limit to this. Also, you can only do the, the bonus rounds once, if I remember right, so... See, what about this one? This one is just... Bonus round! Headbutt the, Head the hot rocks. Found a spot, don't even care. Oops. But if you did it in the other spot, you could end that game of two. Ah! Ah! ah. Say, when is it gonna end? Hit 20! What? what? I think he was about to go into his jump animation when he, when he tried to get up. Plus, I know for a brief moment I saw a pig show up there, so let me just do. Well, that was a, uh, Triceratops. Just out of principle. Oh. Now I see it. Yes, it is a Triceratops. I thought it was a pig. Ah, eh! uh, yes! Oh, the one thing that... The one thing that prehistorics are known for. Frickin' pigs. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, all that for a melon. Aha! Oh, hey! And you got, you got and 10 you got seconds to scale that wall. Ready? Go! Uh, quite and easy it. when you have a turbo button. <laughs> and, uh, I, I totally Booga Luga! I have some delicious nom noms. Nom that one is empty. And that one's empty. Darn. Sorry, nothing. <laughs> ah, here we go. Now we got a bonus got round. Yeah. Jump off the cliff and spin. Get points for more you spin, but only counts if you land on your feet. So let's just do this and see how this goes. So we're pretty much done with this game once we start this. No, 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 no. We still got a bit more time, but how hilarious would it be if this was just the rest of me streaming this game, just me doing these somersaults? And survey says, no, oh. no, bad, bad landing. Like. 
Leiven! Leiven, Leiven! Why? It just reminds me of Virtual Spring. It just reminds me of Virtual Springfield. <laughs> Ideally, you would use the tree, but you said fuck that because turbo. <laughs> uh, this is the original one, Bastille. This is the P. This is the PC Engine one. Yeah, he he already knew that there were three for the turbo graphics. Just wondering uh, which one. This it was. is the first one. You can tell because of the sprite. Bong 2 and 3 share the same character sprite for Bong. Not only that, but Bong, Bong 2 and 3 also have the ability to, when you get enough, they start counting the smileys as coins, so this game doesn't do that. Usually, usually if you're playing a Bond game, the sprite is a dead giveaway in the PC Engine games. Um, nom, 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 nom. Specifically with 1 versus 2 and 3, because as I said before, they share the same sprite in 2 and 3. The real giveaway for 3 is when you have the size mechanic. <laughs> Into the creepy looking cave here. Because, uh, because Bog becomes giant when he eats a certain type of candy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't remember um, playing that was it, also... but I do remember uh, at the very least there was at one time uh, the Game Grumps played it. I think it was one of those weird freak out moments for them. So they're wondering, it's like, why is Bog so huge? There. They also showed up in, uh, in Super Bog. Until the Virtual Console, one of the only few to come out in Europe. Because while the TurboGrafx-16 didn't come out in Europe, I think it was very limited release and only for places that ran at 16 years. Because I believe it was just an import of the U.S. Because this system was mainly U.S. and Japan. So. Simplistic stage, because I kept hogging the top of the screen, making it that much easier. Gee, I wonder what that ominous building is in the background. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm sure it means nothing in the end. Foreshadowing! Oh, the heck guy, how's it going? Well, now they can join their mama. Look, it'd be cruel for me to let them live without any hope of survival, so... This was the most humane thing to do. I, I swear. Oh, I actually thought you were still gonna need to use them, but no, I guess not. I just don't risk it and just actually move them anyway. Apparently that counted as me laying on top of it, but you know, I'm not saying no to that. Also, definitely not saying no to that. Just more smileys. I can, however, say no to that as much as I damn well please. 
I said no. I said no. I said no. I hate the dragonflies. I I really do. <laughs> Both in this and Pong too, because they're really fucking annoying. They're really fucking annoying because of the fact that hey, they'll just show up out of nowhere and just knock you, and it, and in cases like that just damage you and knock you out of your power up state, which also counts as as health because you don't lose health when you get knocked out of it. Okay, we're at the end of the stage. Let's go. <laughs> and I collect the smiley as I leave the stage. Now, I wonder... It has been a while since I played this. Is this the stage that leads me to the next boss fight? Let's progress and find out. Best way to tell is what, if you get to the end... And it has that skull. I find it stupid that they that in the that in the GameCube PS2 remake, which is Japan only. I I seriously hate the fact that they made the top of it have collision. It's so stupid. Oh hey, it's a it's, it's a stupid nozzle. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just gonna blow all this water up in the air. <laughs> Not that we even need to use him for platforms because Turbo! Turbo on the Turbo Graphics 16. What a concept! <laughs> and the name was. The name was. The, the Turbo on the name was more brought up with the fact of. This is actually. This was this was billed as a 16-bit console when technically it's an 8-bit no, console. No, it's more or less 8-bit. Yeah, with the graphics processor, that's 16-bit. So it was kind of false advertising. Not as bad as blast processing, but still false advertising. I think it's right up there with uh, the Atari Jaguar claiming it was a 64-bit oh, console. Well, yeah, when that's only. I think that one was 32. At best, it was 32. Too bad no way he knew how to program for the Jaguar, so not many games were released for it, besides ones Atari made themselves. Although that reminds me, I believe there's a version of War- Uh, sorry, what's that? You got cut out. Yeah. So let that sink in. Uh, I think I'm there's sorry, a version you might of the need, original worms on You, you might need to repeat that because you got cut off. <laughs> yeah, what was it you said? You got cut off during that. I can't tell if you're joking or not. Nah, I'm I'm dead serious. You got cut off in the there, I couldn't hear what you were saying. There is an Atari Jaguar version of worms. Oh jeez. And with yeah. the keypad like that, you can already tell that that's not the best way to play that. No. Hell, there's an Atari Jaguar version of yeah. there's an Atari Jaguar version of cannon and fodder. Oh, War has never been so much fun, according to this game. Yeah. Uh, Yo, well. Cool Al, how's it going? We just be having fun playing ourselves some bonk and you have the power of the Oh I just saw what the steel disposal. When you have the when you have the power of the turbo, what do you have to fear? Oh wait, wait, wait. If that is what I thought it was, I should probably Ah! That, for those wondering, folks, that's a full heal. And considering how much health I had, I really could have used that. And 
while I believe the enemy does respawn, I believe the item does not. Gonna at least grab some fruit. Oh, you <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! That is such bullshit! That is someone such bad news! Someone clip! Someone clip! That, that is such someone bad fucking, news! That is clip worthy! Come on! Someone please clip that! That is oh so clip worthy! Oh my goodness! That. Oh my goodness, this is awful! Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's the demon, let's run. We're not even playing, fellas. I say no. I say no. The best version of the of Game of Fire was the one for the Amiga. Yeah, I mean, I'm not complain. I'm not. I'm not saying otherwise. It was on DOS as well. And it had the. It had the. Health voice. extension. It had the, oh. It had the song, so... Okay, it was I was gonna well. say, after cheating me out of that one meat, you damn hot to give me another one. <laughs> oh no... If push comes to shove for steel, I'll probably do it later, I don't know. I, I, I just love how stupid yeah. that was. <laughs> Okay, I'll admit that is quite genius how it covers up the <laughs> bonk equivalent of the Starman theme once you enter that skull area. Yeah. Yeah, after doing so much damage to it while in super mode, I'm not surprised he went down that fast. Uh, what? You won my heart! And mine, Bonk! What was, what was the... what was that character's gender? We're gonna let you be the judge of that. <laughs> Prime. Okay, I, I think unfortunately we're at times. So. I was gonna say that I was hoping to go up until we beat the round two boss. Thank you, cool out. Well, let's see. Right, we could do we could do without the stream lapse shit though. Mm-hmm. Indeed, but that is the end of one game. Time to move on to the, the next. First of, as they would say in in Worms Armageddon, the first of many. The first of many. Oh, good. Any yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And what do we have for number one? Ah! Okay, here's a fun fact. You may have heard about this game, and even if not, you definitely heard of its U.S. counterpart. But we'll see exactly what it is once I get the game loaded up. Uh, wait, are we, are we going back to this? What I think we're going back to? Uh, don't know if that's the case. Just how you worded that. But yes, this is the next game we're going on to. Oh no, uh, okay, it's Hanamaru. The reason why he said that, folks, is this is the game I got turned into Yo Noid. Exactly. I am Hanamaru, the masked ninja. I am in training. Children all over 
have been vanishing on Fun Island. Man, people are having way too much fun here. I'm going to go there in order to find all the missing children. And yeah, that's the plot. Let's just get started already. Yeah, instead of... Instead of... Instead of the US version where the Noid, for some reason, wants to... Just wants pizza and... Stops a takeover of New York City, which is literally it. That's all that story literally is. Which is funny because the Noid hates pizza, so you'd think, hey! And his favorite <laughs> hobby is destroying it! So, why would he want to eat all the pizzas? <laughs> Unless in his crazy mixed-up mind, eating pizzas counts as destroying them. I don't let's know, be folks. real here. What is your let's be real here. The real answer is damn you, product placement. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the real answer here. By the way, um, if you're familiar with Yonoid, uh, two things to keep in mind. Um, if you are that low enough, uh, that water can instant kill you, and, um, one health! Yep, one hit kills, because that needed to be thing. I don't remember how you use your special stuff. I uh, played this version of the Up and so. up and A. I thought, I thought it would be up and B. Or, yeah. Because B is your attack and A's. But, Yeah, because... Yeah, and also, in Yonoid, the, the positionings were switched. You would be on the left. Yeah. Let's battle. My turn. Although, but it still get... follows the same rules as yeah, the pizza game the contest. Same. So long as you have the bigger number, um, you can still win this match. And the Onigiri, and the Onigiri is a free game. It's basically the red pepper from, uh, from Yonoid. Uh, let's go for simple three. And I don't know for certain. Let's just assume those are, especially because we just finished playing uh, Bonk's Adventure. Um, meat bones. One, one. I think they're supposed. I think they're supposed to be scrolls. Probably. Well, shit. Well, no, no, you have your times two. Nah, I'm what? saving that for when he's using a one. And <laughs> you get your health. Life abused. Man, really does not want to use that. It's okay, once, once he goes into a shuriken toss, I will have this. So gotta preserve that last scroll for when he rolls on a one. Cause yes folks, this is random off. Oh, fuck. I think you better, you'd be better off using that too now. Yeah. Try to minimize the damage. Okay, so we got a two. Our last three. So, oh. <laughs> Swords. Swords clash. Draw. He still has plenty of ones. Thank you. Good lord. Now, as I was saying. Ultra Lightning. What? He I had, just killed him. He had six. No, you you used the three, which had the times two, which should have been six. Against a one that cancels one out for five damage. Oh right. Forgot there it was total. Or no, forgot it was difference. And able to now poke, we're done. Able to poke his toad. What power? You win! Now, I am curious, because it did exist in the original... Uh, I say the original. In Yonoid. 
I believe in stage two, there's a special area that you can interact with that if you were to win um, a whack-a-mole game, it's the equivalent of skipping this stage and I think the next stage as well. They probably had a different graphic for it, though, if that were the case. Also, also yeah, in Yonoid, also in Yonoid, the this would be this would be a uh, ice rink slash a uh, hockey mm. rink, I think. Also, that's just a straight-up polar bear instead of a uh, polar bear playing ice hockey. Oh, well, since I've played Yonoid, so. Also, if only Steel PH was here, he'd be bragging about a certain Steam Tams right now. Ah! Jump didn't want to respond. I think it was right there at that top section. We there. Also, I believe in this game there are no checkpoints. It kicks you right back to the beginning of the level. No. Just to prove a point, one hit knockouts. <laughs> Didn't want to do that, but just to prove a point. For what it is, it's a good Capcom game, but man, is it hard! And. Earthquake, I think? Who knows? I... Well, that's supposed to be a catfish, like a uh, electric catfish, I believe. Well, either way. So, it's yeah, cool. probably. I'm not sure if it's the same rule set as, uh, Yonoi, but, uh, as you progress later on, there should be, like, invisible power-ups that you can get as well. But you have that to, one I'm gonna um, get. Considering Nin, the ninja theme, I'm gonna guess the smoke screen. Well, you got a three. That's nice, but there should be, like, a level skip somewhere here. They might have only added that in for Yono. You know what? I got, I got time to waste here. I'm a professional time waster. I don't mind doing this. We tried on the Borealis. Light tap jumps, I tell you, they get just. And you do and have a limited continue. amount of continues. You do still have limited continues, but mm, a bit irksome, I tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and venture guess that that was uh, yo no quite only here. I'm getting a strange feeling it should be there. Are you sure it's not later in the level? Oh! You're right, it was there I'm thinking of. Remember, folks, I is professional! If you win, I'll reveal a shortcut! Why are you giving the walrus a Jeff George voice? He kinda looks like it. Okay, so it's whack a penguin. But of course, don't hit the dummy, otherwise you might uh, get stunned and lose points. Oh yeah, we should be fine. Besides, if nothing else, we still got that, uh, one times three power-up. We're good. Wow! Nice job! That's what I get for throwing the football! 
The only downside to doing it this way is you don't get a time bonus, but... Oh, you got an extra continue! Sweet. I, I wonder if that's for every time you beat the... Whackable minigame. They still kept the skateboard minigame, so don't you worry about that! Don't know why they did, but they kept it. I actually also know that in the in Yonoid, they actually kept the intro scene with Hanamaru coming down and then his bird showing up. They kept that in Yonoid accidentally, but they but the graphics for the bird were replaced, so the bird just looks glitched to hell and back. And the only way you can access it is a Game Genie code, so. Capcom and all their genius. Which is funny, because this game is about by now production. I know them more for helping with Bakugan, because because that was a thing when I was a kid. <laughs> Alright, the secret law area. <sighs> Means we gotta backtrack a bit. No. Nope. Maybe it wasn't just Yonoid. There was a little secret you can get if you went through the treacherous area. That. Ah! Just, just shy. Want and because you don't have checkpoints, you gotta go right back. You were jumping! What? What? You were jumping! It should have connected! That was literally hitting on the skateboard! That should have worked! I wonder I don't if the game would have been like, uh, you hit him with your front wheels, it should have been the back wheels. That doesn't count as a win. I had no idea you annoyed slash this were so picky. <laughs> also, I believe the jetpack slash uh, personal helicopter pack segment, I believe that's a hang glider in this version. That, that would make the most sense. Uh, let's go through one more continue after that. We'll say that's good enough to switch. I believe on death, though, it, on game over, though, it takes away all your cards, though, so... Probably. So we don't have the times three anymore, unfortunately. Which is fine, because we have a times two right there. Because it goes without saying, folks, stock up your times threes as much as possible. Some bosses are kind of... Difficult, if not impossible, to beat without them. And that's just it. Um, these um, challenge, that one challenge fight was hard enough in its own right. That was stage one boss. If it's like Yonoid, and I'm pretty sure it is, they get even harder later on. To the point where you need the times threes as much as possible. <laughs> There we go, made it up this time. You were right at the boss, too, for fuck's sake! Giant golem. That has to be the biggest cock tease. Uh, oh no, you, you keep your time three. Nice! Nice. Uh, you let's, keep your let's block with a two. It is fair to say, much like Yonoid, if you purposely or accidentally let time run out, uh, that should be an automatic life lost. Not even damage taken, just an automatic life lost. Oh no, the, no, the shield is the pepper. That's right. Because it basically functions the same way. It can't stop the card. Why'd you use a one there? You could have get. Oh, you were saving your. I'm biding my time for a 
Nine! Get rid of all the weaker ones first, so that way I can later better defend myself with twos, if need be. Oh yeah, I don't mind finish them off with four power. What power? You win! Uh, yeah, this was the skyscraper one. Yeah, the one with the, the one with the weird dudes and the. But yeah, this oh. game takes place on the amusement park island, whereas whereas Yonoi takes place in New York City because they don't know where else to put it. Of course. Every boss fight is outside of a conveniently located Domino's. As we all know, New York City is known for its multiple locations of Domino's Pizza. Oh, absolutely. Like, I know having more than one location is commonplace for a few places, but not as many times as you've seen the actual game. Also, I believe the final boss of this is is basically just like Yonoi, just a green version of you. Which is weird because in in Yonoi, all the characters were literally noise. You, but different, but just a palette swap of someone. Yeah. Fall for that one. Go for that one, though. At least my bird is still alive. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't. Purchase of this, but I have actually found it hard to find a copy of this. And I don't want to get Yonoid for the sheer fact of I have a Famicom anyway, I may as well get the Japanese Wait. Not that it matters because I have not that it matters because I have the adapter, but I just realized one of those rotating platforms didn't spawn beforehand and now it did. I- I'm gonna chalk that up to too much on screen. <sighs> Sprite limitation... It probably despawned. Hey, another... And this bird, um, uh, scroll, I'd imagine, pretty much the same as the yo-yo one, where rather than going roughly a bit of a distance, it goes from the end of the screen. For a specific amount of time, probably. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Talk. 
talk about some sick burns of the hair. Eh, my haircut needed a trim anyway. <laughs> I don't know if it's still a thing, but apparently there was a news broadcast saying at one point, uh, they considered singeing off parts of your hair, um, something a hairstylist would do. Um... That is not something you would want to do. I think in Yonoi, this is a sewer level. And yeah, you that, that would the make more sense. Well, we're done anyway, so... Whatever. Whatever. That's basically the original Yonoid, which is nothing like Yonoid. It actually has an original plot as far as, uh, I'm annoyed! I love eating pizza! Someone else is claiming to be annoyed. I'm gonna beat the living shit out of them in pizza eating contests. <laughs> I, I don't get it either. What we should get, however, is um, more spins on the wheel. I was going to say, don't make a liar out of me. OVS, show me the damn wheel. All right, let's see what is coming up for us next. Looks like next up we have N64. the N64. Uh, that's that's that the, that's the wrong one. Here we go. <laughs> Why I am I playing you... the wrong music here? <laughs> I don't think you can go there. I don't no, think I you can... can go there. Oh, ooh. I'm glad I got this one. I don't think you can go there. <laughs> I don't think you can go there. <laughs> oh, I am so happy this is a choice. So happy this is a choice. So let's see, move over there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now playing, uh, if I were to unpause, <laughs> just flat out say Diddy Kong Racing! <laughs> One thing's for certain, people have claimed this is either better than, or just as good as Mario Kart 64. And for good reasons, this is an awesome racing game. Diddy Kong Racing! Diddy Kong Racing! <laughs> also, uh, let me bring up volume settings. That sounds just a little bit too loud. There we go. Alright, so we have options of English, or... Uh, or it wouldn't let me, because I keep forgetting it. Whatever, um, I'll just say, it had the option of either English or en français. Well, yeah, because USA ROM, so Canada. Mm -hmm. So we have various different characters to play as, either as... Crunch, the crocodile. <laughs> Diddy Kong, the monkey. I'm Diddy. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Bumper. Bumper, the, um... Badger. Yeah, we'll say Badger. Uh, Banjo, the bear. I'm Banjo. Whoa! Timber. Timber, the tiger. Um... Didn't even Tipsy hear. the mouse. Tipsy the mouse. Hey, it's Tip Top. Uh, Tip Top, I believe he said his name was the tortoise. Uh, but we're playing as Conker the Squirrel before his binge drinking days because, obviously, we've got to find some hilarity of how he became such a beloved child's icon to his own M rated game. Caution, please do not change rumble pack or controller pack during gameplay. Not that it matters, because my controller won't vibrate, nor will it save. And even if it could save, that's what save states are for. 
And we can do either simple tracks or, you know, we gotta go adventure mode. And I did a bit of testing on this just to make sure that it would work. Lest I suffer another repeat the one time I wanted to play Pokemon Puzzle League and it didn't want to work. So, yes. Just starting a simple game right here. Either this is an island um, contributed solely to Pigma Dangar of the Star Fox team, or Ganon really fucked over the light world. But no, um, in all seriousness, um, can't remember what his name. Whiz Pig. Yeah. But basically, he controls this entire island, making sure no one has any fun. So how do we beat him? Uh, by racing. I am the genie of the island. I'm here to help you. Good luck. Darkness falls upon our island. So now we must race. And of course, simplistic. Um, a accelerates, B does breaks and or reverse, and first golden balloon, which is necessary to enter the first world. So why they give it to you? Also, let's talk about this guy right here. Um, if, if, if I can bump into him. TT. TT. There we go. Hi there, I'm TT. This is TT, otherwise known as Time Trials. I'm not sure, but I believe if you beat the game, beat the game fully to unlock Mirror Mode, and then beat the game to beat the game fully, you unlock TT as a playable racer. I think he's the most, uh, I think he has the most stats. Okay. Remember right? Okay. But yeah, let's start with the Ancient Lake as our first mission. Get ready, go! Of course, um, blue balloons are, um, speed boosts. Uh, the red balloons are, uh, offensive missile launches. But, one of the things that is nifty about this game is that if you collect three of the same balloons, you can power them up, a la Lego Racers. Just without, just without the gold brick. I mean the white brick. It's like, I'm pressing the speed button, why is it not working? Now it's working. Also, I think I just realized there was a coin there. And by coin, I mean a, um, a key of sorts. That's okay. We just need to worry about clearing this race first. And then I think I'll revisit this one because I believe I saw something just right past the starting gate. This is for you. This is for you. Congratulations on getting this golden balloon. Don't ask me how it floats. Even I am puzzled and I am a fucking genie. So let's try this again. But yeah, do it again as Oh card. yeah, you only have the card to start with until you talk to... Prom. Until I talk to the genie who can transform my car. I pick it up, I lick a zoo. So I think it was... Yeah, there's a key there. And I missed it. 
Oh. Can you restart? Can you restart the race from the boss menu? There, there are multiple. Um, there are multiple laps here. I'll worry about it after that. So I figure if I can't get it by uh, lap three, then we'll worry about restarting. Lap two. There we go. Got the key. Now we can focus on actually winning the race. You won't get the balloon again, though. So after you finish it, that's okay. Enter ludicrous speed! We've gone to flood! Out of the way, Banjo! Also, this is the only game that Banjo talks in, for good reason. I kinda like that more, honestly. Oh, yeah. No, we got, we're not gonna try again. We got, we got what we needed. Which unlocks the bus. Once we get enough balloons, obviously. Yeah. So I believe... Yeah. We need at least four to get in there, so... What we need... Let's go to the Fossil Canyon. Uh, Fossil Canyon is next. Well, to be fair, Pastille, um, N64 is a bit rough on this hawk anyway, so I am not at all um, surprised this is the case. Are you talking about the game lagging? Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, let's collect the red balloons if or I can get not. them. Or <laughs> not. Eh, whatever. Toy. Black two. Which does raise the question, why would a squirrel want bananas? But then again, uh, best not to think about it. This is the same uh, squirrel who went on a drinking binge um, shortly afterwards, which... Funny story, the original um, concept for Conker's well, Bad Fur Day was, was supposed to be another family-friendly game. But, um, in between there, uh, let's just say something happened. I think, ma I think Management of Rare was like another one of these or something like that. We gotta pull ourselves another Naughty Dog. <laughs> I forgot the weapon use uh, button becomes the horn if you don't have anything to use. Yeah. <laughs> Bah, bah. Out of the way, asshole. Hey, I'm walking in! Oh yeah, so far we've shown up all the weapons. And the rupees. Finny! Although, speaking of N64, they, uh, they found a dev cart for Dinosaur Planet. Thing that oh, yeah. This is for you. And they found Saber's old model left over. Despite the fact that by this point they'd already transitioned to starting to put Fox in there. Damn you, Miyamoto! Jungle Falls. I still feel like that was flawed thinking on their end. This guy looks strangely similar to Fox. We gotta put. We gotta make this a Star Fox game. Ah, ah. To be fair though, this was around the time where Nintendo still had a stake in Rare, so it's not like they could have done anything even if they tried. Let's go for the 10. 
And then after that game was developed, Microsoft took it. And besides games like Grab by the Ghoulies and the Sea of Thieves, they dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, and Viva Pinata. Which actually had a Saturday morning TV show tied to it as well. I, I, I never watched it. Nuclear waste? Also, I happen to notice that rainbow balloon there, which is probably powers up whatever balloon power you already have. Or at least I'm so assuming that be the case. So basically, the white bricks. And if you guys, any of you guys watching are wondering why I keep bringing up LEGO Racers, it's because that's my, that's my, my oh. frame of reference. Oh, it's a power shield. It's a shield. It's a shield. Gold is shield. So that'd be the equivalent of blue bricks. This is for you. Well, bye now. Have a fun time going up against the boss. I think the key area was over here. Yeah, there he was. Oh, it's an oh, so it's an extra course. Fire Mountain. The first player to oh, hatch a, three okay, eggs will win. Oh, it's a bonus level. Okay. <laughs> Giddy's render is literally Giddy's render is literally one from like Donkey Kong Country too. Conquers is from the Twelve Tales development. Didn't even pick it up. Oh, you can. Doesn't look like you can. Oh, no, you can. Oh, I guess if they've already hatched, you can't do anything with them. Why did that... It's did on I, the thing, why did not come Did I drop it too late? Probably. Oh, well. Well, you guys saw the... You guys saw the minigame, at least. Yeah, return to lobby. Uh, bus time. Have you all have all the balloons. Oh, oh with don't each, tell each, me. With every vehicle. Be... Oh, I need, still need to get a balloon And you're there, also missing and five. And you're shy. also missing five. So you have to do one with a, another vehicle anyways. Unless there's another world that's open to us. No way to find out. Can't go that way without the hovercraft. Let us see. can't go to a different world, maybe there's still a floating balloon we can get. Yep, this hasn't opened up yet. Yeah, that seems to be the case, Pan. Because I know for the longest of times, back when you were doing your own, um, all all sick game streams, uh, you always had trouble, uh, trying to get um, Earthworm 3 for N64 to work. Earthworm Jim 3D, and I, then I gave him the PC version. Apparently the PC version has problems of its own. Yeah. 
Nothing. Sorry, nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stupid. You're so stupid. Stimpy, you idiot. You sick little monkey. Dance, monkey, dance. Uh, what about this aisle? Still, oh, we definitely, don't, definitely don't have enough for that. Welcome to the Conquer Wagonous Tail channel. Hope you all enjoy this. <laughs> the rate I'm going, there's not much I can do <laughs> with the car. Anyway. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to talk to Raj. <laughs> Let's see. Um... I think you're gonna have to talk to Raj. Oh, yep. I see a balloon there. I see a balloon there. Ball. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Look. Abracadabra. Can I help you? Bye-bye for now. I just love... Bye for now. I just love his voice. So I see a balloon there. There we go. Now he has enough. <laughs> I just if you land, right If you around. land on the space with his face on it, he'll teleport to you. He'll walk right to you. Yeah, see, there he is. He's coming. Or not. Maybe directly center. I don't know why that would be the. Oh, you go. have to honk at him Hello, while in that. You have to honk at him while you're on that. Can I help you? Bye, you Well, I can see I am offering a huge amount of help. I will go now. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing that on the count that I don't want to sound very racist, as all. Yeah. I'm back. That really hurt. Oh, I've got to fall over now, so bye. Also, despite me having a car, uh, this is purely a plane level. Well, you have to, uh, yeah, it's either a plane or a hovercraft. At least you can't drive a car in this level. Okay. Which makes, which makes sense, you're in a volcano. Yeah. My car's tough, it can take it! No, it probably can't. Plus, the hovercrafts will be hovering right above the oh, lava. Oh, sweet, I grabbed both of them at once. Nice. Plus, the lava would be, like, right underneath the hovercraft, so... Also, I just remembered what my L and R buttons were to help me do sharp turns, which is good, because I probably... Uh, falter very. You're in. Absolutely. You're in a plane. You'd want that. Okay, so never mind. L does nothing. It's purely R that controls the sharp turn. R in the stick. Yeah. Because you can't use the D-pad with this. Not that I would recommend trying it. Could have gone back. I think you can also unlock Raj as well. What? Well, I even Sorry, like it. nothing. <laughs> if I shoot at that dinosaur enough times, it will die. Uh, let's just claim our first place victory so we can. 
finally go up against the boss. Danger zone intensifies. Just because you're flying a plane. Alright, let me look this up to make sure I'm not speaking in my ass. Or if you can. I'm, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's Taj, not Raj, as in Taj Mahal. Which would make sense. Also, I would not be surprised if you can unlock time or TT by, as I said before, completing the game, fully completing the game, and then same thing, but all mirrored, complete the game and fully complete the game. It would be kind of dickish if he had to do that with every other character to unlock Taj, if that is the case. Uh, it looks like Taj was only playable on DS. Oh. Same with same with Whispick, because Banjo and because Taj and Whispick took Banjo and Conquer spots respectively. Well done, kid. Now I challenge you to a race. Because they replaced because and then they added Tiny and Dixie because because of the rare ah. character. Ran me over. How dare you? guy's design was the basis for Prince Tricky from, uh, from Star Fox Adventures slash Dinosaur Planet. Oh, I think I see. He, he moves fast to begin with it. Dang it. Yeah, if you, if you lose him, you're basically screwed, so you have to keep up with him. Although he does have some rubber banding mechanics. Ah! I say some, that's still not saying much. Like there's no way you're gonna come back from this. Considering how far he is now. Yeah. See if I can get the ten missile thing. Power up. Power up. Power up. Ah. Oh! You gotta be kidding me. 
Yeah, I think I think it's over. Oh jeez. Well, yeah, with that, especially with that, it's definitely over. No, no, with that, it's especially over. <laughs> yeah, because he hit the top. No, no, it's the fact I hit the um, tree afterwards. <laughs> Fuck off, right? <laughs> don't, don't trample us. Don't tread on me. Ah, wow. Not, not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother with that one. when he's stationary still makes me flat. That, 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 th thank you. Thank you for that. Truly appreciate it. Because we know that's fair. We got customers waiting. Wait. No, 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 no. Head back. Head back. Where does this lead? No, no, no. I think it's a shortcut. Let's just hope he doesn't call you out on it. Boy, he's not like well, a gang, not, he's not that it matters out. because I lost so much time backtracking there. But yeah, I think we're all in agreement. Once we uh, beat this guy, that's a good time to switch over. Stop 
Stop fighting me! Shortcut taken! get the feeling that just unlocks a hard mode of this challenge. For you. Try breaking. Try Fuck pressing you. break while skidding. Fuck you, Ross. We know this are right. Taj. Uh, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Incredibly fun game, but man, can it get stressful at times. Good old <laughs> or, 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 or at least with the boss races, it becomes stressful. I could say if you screw up during a normal race, that's your own damn fault. <laughs> but against bosses, oof, that RNG, man. Oh, well, at any rate, I think this is a good enough time to take a small break. Uh, I think 10 minutes is good enough. So if anyone needs this moment to grab a quick snack, go to the bathroom, maybe even stretch your legs, this is the best time to do so. And when we come back, we will give that wheel some more spins. So see you in a bit, folks.
Okay then, folks, I think that's been a long enough wait. <clears throat> but just in case some um, people need a little more time, this is the perfect time for me to go ahead and give this wheel another good spin. tackle the NES, let alone that game for the NES. Redo! Redo! Speaking of redo... Redo! This is the redo watch. <laughs> From Fairly Odd Parents. Absolutely. Okay, here redo. we go. Something different for once. Ladies and gentlemen, the next game we'll be playing is on... The Sega Genesis. Uh, toot toot. By which I mean, it's time for the Sega Genesis. Thank you. Did you re-add, since we didn't do it in that, in the Valentine's Day thing, did you re-add, uh, Adam's Family? Um, that will be a game added in for next time. For now, there's another game that hasn't popped up in the ROM shuffler for BizHawk. So, let me just take this moment. Add that in so I know it's been cleared out. And I already know what the game shall be now, so we can stop that. And let's get ready for the next game on the list here. Sega Genesis ROMs. Because the next game we'll be playing... Once well, done loading in... Bonanza Brothers! Did you put this in because I gave you the Master System version one point of comparison? Well... I figured out what was wrong before he Oh, good evening, boys. I've got a job that is for you and you alone. My businesses are being robbed. I wish to hire you to retrieve those items. I have placed certain items in each building for you to gather. If you can retrieve them all, I will reward you handsomely. We'll get the treasure within three minutes! It's funny, because in the original Japanese and European versions, they're actually crooks. Yeah. Cleaning up, uh, cleaning up bad bill of, of no gooders. <laughs> no. No good nicks. By the way, um, I know that's not the case for a game like this, but I like to picture, uh, for haha's -ha sake, um, that the characters you're playing as, depending on what player you are, is, uh, John and Kramer, f or... George Costanza and um, just just Kramer for Cosmo Kramer from Seinfeld. <laughs> My God, I don't usually trip up that much. Stage one, the company. So we just need to retrieve some items along the way. Wow. Make sure not to get hit by any cops, otherwise you lose all your stuff. And of course, gotta keep moving, because if you stay still for too long, a fly comes by wow. and will annoy you. And that makes it robbing a place that much harder. Wow. Well, it doesn't do anything in the grand wow. scheme of things. No, but if an enemy is nearby, it can easily make you wow. a victim of someone. Wow. <laughs> well, there's one life down. Wow. 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 The puzzle and action games are spin-off for this, boy. Wow. Got it. 
And those were Japan only until quite recently. And by that I mean the Sega Ages, wow. Ichidon R. Wow. Either the Todd's R or the wow. Ichidon R. I think both of them are on there on Switch, but remember. There we go. Only had to waste one life, but eh, I'll take it. Also, it's probably not what they said because obviously, uh, family is game for a family console. But I like to imagine every time your character gets hit, they they yell shit. Oh shit! Wow. <laughs> He has a shield. What did you think was going to happen? Thank you. Made it that much easier. I need to climb my way up there. But guess what? You gotta go back now because you have to go do the, the zip line. Yeah. Do that just to make sure he's down. Dodging. Yeah, this isn't this isn't the Master System version of Bastille. Although it is in there, you just haven't run into it. Why we haven't run into it yet? There's a reason, and that's all I'll say. Because it involves a certain mystery space. We time's almost up, but that's okay. We made it. Again, only had to waste another life. But this time, the casino. Only four items to get. I like the way you're looking at me, bud. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of boned at that point. There we go. Wow. Plus, I know that the music pauses to do the voice clip here. At least it's not as egregious as it is in the Master System That's version. That's true. It's it's more for the wow. fact of how big crushed it is, and it's and it sounds horrible on the wow. on the Master System sound chip. Up. 
up, 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 up. Ah! Why was I not going up? Why was it going down suddenly? I was right there! I want to bet that the guy was punching you off the stairs. That should not have been the case! Also, they don't have the bonus stages in the Genesis version. How to attack the local mint. Come on, spin around. Thank you. And as and as usual, it doesn't actually kill them, it only incapacitates them. No. Despite no. the fact that they've been despite the fact they've been flattened, it only incapacitates them. It does not kill them. Just be on the safe side. That's the exit, so let's head this way first. Wow. 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 He's already down, you may as well just... There we go. I shot a puppy, how dare I? Oh well. They're non-lethal bullets. Constant streak of losing a life yet completing a level, so why not? Stage 5 Underground Gold Bars. Again, they're, they're non-lethal bullets. That is not the exit. I know, but I had to make sure I got rid of his attention there. Burp, 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 burp. This plan was not well thought out. No, it wasn't. Now this is where it gets extra tricky here. Hey, for once we didn't lose a life. Getting better by the stage. Get and watch I somehow get killed by two times. Experimental rubber bullets. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen them before. What? They hurt like hell. Wow. 
Wow. Heaven forbid the fact they used them during the frickin' riots. Mm-hmm. Wow. You tripped on the same can! Wow. I'm actually surprised I was able to get that timing down just right. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, this was a Game Center CX episode. Yeah, it was a high score wow. run though. Because, since this is an arcade board, I don't wow. think there's a lit true ending. Really? Yeah, not really. So it wouldn't surprise me if... If Ari no Kacho only did... Only did a score attack on this. There we go. Wow. Hey, that was gonna be sold to. That was gonna be sold to a lady. That was gonna be sold to a lady called Rose. We were supposed to give that to her in 1997. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I'm doing this well right now. You also got an extra life. And an extra life. <laughs> Stage seven, laboratory. Hope we're not in vain, dexterous laboratory. Damn it! I was gonna make the same exact joke. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Come on, get over here. Get... Of course you're not going to. You don't play by the rules. Just for that. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. That's the gimmick of this one. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, there's not him! <laughs> What's wrong, guys? Can't you hit me?! Wow. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I haven't played this game in forever, wow. so I'm surprised I'm doing this well. Apparently, you're on, apparently, Pan says there may be eight stages and you're on stage seven, so you might be almost done with the loop. And considering I purposely um, chose hard difficulty, that's definitely saying something. Well, I wonder if this I is do... one of those uh, games where you go in a continuous loop after a certain amount of time. Yeah, that's probably what it is, because... I don't think there's an ending to this. Wow. I think there is for the Master System version, but not for this version. Because this version and the PC... Wow. Oddly enough, the PC Engine CD version were the most arcade accurate. Uh, Bonanza Brothers. For Bonanza the Sega Brothers. Genesis, specifically. Deluxe Liner. Uh, let's see. Started from there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you haven't, wow. but I haven't stolen anything yet. Don't care. You are going to. Hey, you're not a first-class passenger! <laughs> no, actually, that that's the bottom of the boat, so that's actually, uh... No, this is second class. First class would be underneath that. Oh. Or on top of that, actually. Ten stages, so we're almost done. Just, like, two stages left. And then, I believe, it loops. Oh god, now you got two of them. Wow. 
Come on, we want you to come over here. <laughs> come over here so we can smush you. That, that works. Not really, but that works, I suppose. <laughs> that works. <laughs> or no, that... No, this is just the inside of the ship. This is the... So actually, we were in for... We were in second class. Wow. Huh? Economy class and then first class on top of that. Wow. <laughs> We're not getting out of here in wow. 50 seconds, not unless you hightail it. Wow. This might be the end of our journey. Wow. Mm. We could still do pretty well for ourselves. Not like that! Game over, but... This is only the first continue that we are able to use. But, <laughs> thank you for letting me climb the stairs, it wouldn't let me climb up in. It's cause the door, it was because the door was open. I know, it's stupid, I was right there too. Can't let you through here, the door's open, so it's blocking the only available entrance. Wow. And of course, they're not affected by the damn cans. Shit. No, 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 go, 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 down, go, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if we see references to other, uh, Sega games in here. Wow. I was kidding when wow. I said that, but okay. Because we got Super Thunder Blade, Monaco GP, Fantasy oh. Zone, and I think that's... I'm trying to remember what the name of that game was. I don't think that's Fantasy Star. I think that's a, uh... Wow. I think it's another one of the RPGs. Wow. That's Fantasy Star, though! Wow. Altered wow. Beast. Wow. Another Super Monaco. Golden Axe. The Fantasy... Wow. No, that's Space Harrier 2. Okay. I was like, Fantasy wow. Star again? No, it's Space Harrier wow. 2. Columns. Ah, dang it. No! He closed the gate on me. I was hoping to do the opposite for him. Wow. But yeah, there's columns. <laughs> wow. E SWAT. E SWAT. Well, the games have pan played for all those shit games. Which it's honestly not a shit game, it's just an arcade port that's really hard. Wow. Zoom! Okay, to be fair, that was a game on the Genesis, so. Well, I already screwed this up, I can tell. Uh. Sonic 1? Oh well, not a problem. We're already there, we may as well brute force it at this point. Yeah, if there's not that many games left, may as well brute force it. Uh, also, it Even would help if you jumped and... Also, yeah, I think that's Sonic 1. Oh, I can still make up for it. Thunder Force, probably. Revenge of Shinobi. Wow. 
And we're back to East One. Okay. Wow. So yeah, that must have been Sonic 1. Either Sonic 1 or Sonic 2. Depends on when this game came out, so... Now, oh, for real this time, let's make our escape. <laughs> the only thing I know Zoom for. Come on, boy! Come on, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Which I was actually an Amiga game that got ported to, to Genesis for some reason. One of the few uh, times a Japanese company did that. <laughs> Final stage! And the pyramid! Stage 10. How are we in Egypt now? So many stuff to get! How are we in Egypt? I think the real question is why were we not in Egypt beforehand? Oh hey, it's an old floppy disk. A true floppy disk even. Back when you know how they got their name to be floppy. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. I make the joke, but anyone else miss roll film? Cause I don't. <laughs> it's served its purpose for back in the day, but now, you, yeah, they're you, so obsolete. You, you have to loop it onto the thing, and then you have to make sure it doesn't get caught. Wow. <laughs> Cassette tape. Not gonna give that one too much shit because wow. people still use them to this day, actually. Mm -hmm. If not full uh, cassette tapes, the mini ones at the very wow. least. At least not in camcorders. Do you know there were movies on? Did you know there were movies on Beta? <laughs> I can believe it. How about how about uh, Video Eight? Wow. You know the. The format that they used no. for the whole for the old video recorders. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh god! Imagine movies on mini. Wow. <laughs> Anyone remember those? <laughs> Cause those came wow. and went. <laughs> Two and no parts of MP3s. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to take the strategy that Pan mentioned earlier. Collect the treasure, and then, since I'm running low on time, purposely get myself killed. We can't! We're almost out of the time. Just before it reached zero. If that's not cutting it close, I don't know what is. Well, no, it's not Opa. It wasn't Opa Opa. It was, it was Fantasy Zone. Because Super Fantasy Zone was out at the time in Japan. America wouldn't get it until the Virtual Console or the Genesis Mini. Because Sun, cause Sunsoft helped with that port. There we go. Because I just noticed there were trap doors there. That is what tripped me up earlier. Guardman, can't you hit me? Wow. <laughs> All 
Alright, final treasure. And just in case they picked up my scent. That. And with that said... We beat the game! Woo! We beat a loop! Congratulations! You have just beat a loop of Bonanza Brothers! Congratulations! <laughs> you know, full honesty, I remember playing this game back when it was part of the Sega Genesis collection on PS2. I've never actually beaten this game before, so proud win for me, baby. I believe I believe if you're playing this on a European or Japanese console, Sega Genesis will say met Sega Mega Drive. Most Instead. likely. Wait, how could you tell this was projected in film where there's that little squiggly line, especially that little squiggly hairline right there? Now you definitely know this was recorded in film. <laughs> and it was then that George Costanza and Cosmo Kramer were able to retire from the life of thievery and were able to live the rest of their lives as kings, yet chose to live underground um, as just simplistic guys near um, Jerry Seinfeld's apartment. Thank you. See you again. And then I think it. And then I think it does hold it. Uh, let's see. Fades to black. Oh, it no, just kicks it you out. It, Back to the. It would loop. It would probably. I'm guessing it would probably loop in arcades. Well, this has to be one of the few times where you've actually beaten a game on here. For once. Uh, unless I can find another simplistically easy game for ROM Dumpster Diving, that's probably going to be the one only time that happens. Uh, but yes, with that said, let's give this wheel another good spin. Well, Jeff, I think you finally got your wish because next up finally, on the list now we is get the, Game Boy the Game Boy. And uh, yes, it was this one. And my goodness, we we've had fun playing. Actually, this is a Game Boy Color game, so why don't we switch on over to that? And this is going to take a while to ro load, so I may as well let the music play out. Uh, oh, why are you still on Genesis? We don't need Genesis, we need Game Boy. And let's see, Game Boy load, SF, Super Game Boy, yes, re reboot the core. There we go. And you can stop playing now. Ladies and gentlemen... It's Game Boy Color only. Which I did. <sighs> Does it seriously... So if I were to load this via Game Boy, Super Game Boy, it says, no, can't load. Specifically the Game Boy will it load Game Boy Color. But yes, folks, this was on Game let, Boy let's, let's, Color. Let's just give a standing ovation high five for that brilliance on Bishawks. And thank, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Truly appreciate it. But yes. <laughs> yes, now we get to play Worms Armageddon on the Game Boy Color, which is English en français and se habla espanol. But yes, uh, let's just stick with English because I'm a dumb motherfucker that doesn't know any better and Let's just take a moment to appreciate the music that this game has given us. Well, I think it. I think it's trying to. I think this is supposed to be the Worms theme. They at least tried. Hmm, that's true. 
let's see, 100 health, uh, four worms per team, we'll keep that. Uh, 45 seconds decision time, uh, 10 minutes before going into sudden death mode. Let's make it one victory. Uh, win, dawn, win. Yeah, and keep that on and music. Yeah, may as well do that. Yep, everything seems fine here. Bazooka on, grenade on, fire punch. Why yeah. On and dynamite. They can't, yeah, the, yeah, need that they on. can't call it the shore you can because they get sued by Capcom. Mm hmm. I mean, would that mean they're stealing a uh, Ken Masters move because it literally could be the fire punch with the show you rep or something or Shinryu can I don't know either way uh dynamite teleport baseball bat and jetpack next one shotgun oh. only three also shotguns. yes you have to go through each of these manual uh, let's say infinite shotgun because that was the same thing for the original worms armageddon why should we change it for that uh, air raid, yes, keep it at that. Battle axe, blowtorch, sheep, banana bombs on, and Armageddon on. Yeah, and I think, yep, that sets us up for that. Let's create a game for one player mode. And of course, we gotta change who we are playing as. I'll make these short and simple. So we got the Animaniac. Pretty much the same way how I would do it if I was uh, the multiplayer shenanigans. Eyes in the Broniac. In the Mega Maniac. Just put Tokusatsiac because you already have a DP in there. So. Hmm. So yeah. DT. I think for this one, we're not going to change anything for that. Just add. <laughs> that for Eyes in the Baka Maniac. <laughs> there we go. They all sound fine, though. I'm going to change it for haha's sake. Uh, oh, oh, it's right there. From yo-yo to yolo. Because why the hell not? Uh, let's see. Standard. That is not that much. Let's go for one of these modes. Oh, and grave sites. Uh, let's go... Yeah, bones. Dynamite and banana. Oh! That's that, random. That's, that's a rant. Oh, jeez. In that case, back up. Back you up. You just uh, went to the armadillos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're... Wait. Yeah, that that's us. We're team one, and team two is. Uh? Their their new team name is. Uh? Uh, I'll let that one be the course. Ooh, poor monkeys. All right, time to get the actual game started here. Time for Eisen the Animaniac to go off. Uh, I'm gonna guess you have to press select uh, to switch weapons. I was wondering why I couldn't move. I think is it A that makes you jump? Yes, it was. Okay, and double tapping makes you do. Um, okay, you press select and A and B, to select, and then A and B to select a weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, nah. Have it be that. No, you know what? Um, uh, 
Sure, we'll go with that. Angel is drowned. I was trying to do a backflip, but that works too, I suppose. Eyes in the Broniac. Ah, it's a notch up. Noel is ready. It's funny because the original Worms was on color as well. I think it plays the exact same way as this. There we go. Actually, let's do Fire Punch. Hoya! The first of many. <laughs> really? Not gonna do anything? <laughs> Get away from- Ah! Ahoy. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I don't think this version has airdrop. manual to see, see something because I'm actually curious if this has a uh, whoops if this has a blink mode using the IR the IR sensor hmm. one two three so not that much room to go by so I guess this means just make some room here Couldn't be able to switch, so what else could that worm do? Okay, so the only weapons the Game Boy Okay, the airstrike, banana bomb, and arm again work differently. The airstrike has a plane by fly by three times, dropping a single bomb each time. The banana bomb instead causes a few explosions as opposed to reducing clusters, and the Armageddon works more like the Indian nuclear test. Nobody scan the manual for the Game Boy Color version. That saddens me. Hmm. Oh, wait. There we go. So oh, item like... create. Weapon creates R in, in this case. It's like, then how do you not... turn it on? Warn. Skip go. The computer uses this quite a bit. Uh, we noticed. us with three against two here. Actually, now that we're not dealing with as loud music, let's turn this up a notch. There we go. Everyone was probably wondering, I want to hear more of the music. Why am I not hearing any of it? Well, that thought just occurred to me, so I apologize for that. 
Okay, good. Uh, just Grave... a quick check. Were gravestone... When gravestones appeared, were they always, uh... Oh, all the way down there. Were they always... So... Were they always intangible? Mmm, don't really know. I'm dead meat! Oh, it's three against one. What you gonna do? You had to teleport! You could have just fucking used the game! <laughs> they literally had to teleport! He could have just used it! Not even the game trusts itself to do a move. Wow, that oh. game facts thing wasn't lying when they said the computer does that a lot. <laughs> Oh, there was. There's that, it's, there's one, that pixel one pixel. There. pixel. That one fucking pixel. There we go. Uh, there we don't go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Not like I could do much of anything else at that point. Oh my god. Use a teleport. You know what? For once, for once, I'll follow suit. <laughs> that would not be a bad idea. Wow, this AI is stupid in this version. I don't trust myself to make that jump just yet. So why should I bother? There we go. Owie. Oh well, just made some room there. Masterful AI, ladies and gentlemen. Masterful AI. It's safe to say they had to, to cut back on a few of the routines because of the port to Game Boy Color, so... <sighs> so yeah, it's safe to say this is an awkward play for this mode of the game, at least it's playable, so I will give the Game Boy Color version that much. It is at least playable. I can only imagine how bad the Game Boy version of the original Worms could be. Oh, jeez. With how clunky that game is to begin with, yeah. Because remember, folks, this was originally an Amiga game. Now, why are you doing that? Well, there goes there goes the Animaniac. Stupid. No, that was the Broniac. <laughs> no, that was DA. I saw a DB scroll by. Cause there's Mega Maniac. Yeah, I ain't getting pushed off by you. You have He's a clear right. fire shot there! He's right there! He's right fucking there! Let's see, uh... Please don't backfire this time. Well, now it's sudden... No, well, now it's sudden death, according to the timer. Not that it matters, Not that it matters because anyway. I already won. Why are you going to sudden death? You won! <laughs> yeah, we know you already won. We're still going to take away your health because why the hell not? 
I think we get the chest of it, though. Yeah. Gold medal is awarded for this performance. <laughs> worm in this match goes to Ice and Debroniak. And the sleepiest worm, Angel, if that's the one that kept skipping all the time, I can imagine why. There's really not that much you can do as anyone so... Eh, uh, we'll go for one more match. One more match, because why the hell not? Uh... Let's say E D B Just enough room for Eyes and Debroni Extreme. Do that and let's see. <laughs> well, you know we have to go up against the cowards with a team name like that. We just have to. There we go, and now we can change the... Oh, we only have three locations this time. Yep. We only have desert, we have jungle, oh, and we have... Oh, it's just the background. It's just the background. And I think that was the map we did earlier, so let's... Jungle was what we did this earlier. One. This is... Oh! Oh my! <laughs> I wonder, does this still get a T rating? Um, considering the weapons that were being used, it would not surprise me if that were the case. Uh, what do we have? Mm, let's... Yeah, let's stick with the bazooka. Um, no, it got E for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the weapons, it got an E for everyone. Everyone for animated violence and mild oh, language. Boy. Why are you inching slowly away? You just took damage yourself. Stupid! Uh, while we're at it, let's see. No one there. Okay. In that case, jump across. Oh, man. And the sad thing is, there's no ninja rope for me to use, so I can't actually... Yeah, the ninja rope's not in this version. Taking cover right there, even though it probably won't provide me with any cover. And... Wow, he's all the way there. So at least Still he's though. trying to do something instead of just skipping, skipping, skipping. Still though, worms are me. Oh! Apparently every version was rated E forever. Hiya! Yeah! All versions of worms are were rated E for everyone. I find that hard to believe, but okay. You would think it'd at least be a T for teen, but no. Uh, what were you doing there? You didn't realize I'm the one you should be targeting, not everyone else. No, even then it didn't work. Hey, at least be glad that didn't count as taking damage. True. There's actually a PSP version of this, which I believe was the fa There's a PSP version of Worms called Worms Total Warfare. And I believe that version <laughs> of Worms... And I believe that version of Worms is actually the basis for the for Worms Reloaded. Also, I just realized... Uh... Yeah, that was bad placement on my end, because open target for those two. Uh, yeah, I think it's time you went for a little ride. And by you, I mean me as well. <laughs> Uh, really, 
wish I had the shotgun as an option. Can't select it right now. Just bazooka, grenade, fire punch, dynamite, and teleport. Unless you wanted to count skipping go as a move. To be fair, uh, Pestiel, there's only so many things that you can do with the Game Boy, so... In fact, we're able to get a functioning version of Worms Armageddon for this game. I have to give credit where... He just hit his own... You know, I had a thought there, the fact that he, um, shot his own teammate, I think that speaks for itself. I mean, yes, it's functional. It's not the best way to play it by a long shot. But... Especially since most computers nowadays can play this game. But if you didn't have anything else at the, t at, during, at the time and had a big color, this is a Wrong. perfectly there we go. This is a perfectly serviceable version. Whee! Well, I made an easy target for myself. Ah, poor eyes of the maniac. Mega maniac, no! Almost made it. Oh. Nope, just keep back flipping. Keep back flipping. I can only imagine how you. <laughs> Would fare in getting over it with Bennett Potty. <laughs> oh. So there is fall counts. damage. So there is fall damage. That's good to yes, know. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Now you fucking use it. It's just to give yourself some cover. Quite the move. I think it's a foolish move, but that's quite the move. Oh man, if he wasn't there, you would have got damage. Nah, just for that, you get a fire punch. Hiya! Oh, he must have knocked him out, because he's skipping. <laughs> he must be unconscious. Good job at hitting your own damn self. Uh, can you... That, that might be the best you can get, honestly. That's if it even stays where you want, where you want it to be. <sighs> do I really have to do it this stupid way? If the not lining you up, I don't think you're able to. Because I want to do it the way I want it to, it's not letting me drop it. Great. Great. So now glad. Now we made even more of it. Or not. Now the fucking item crate starts showing up! Come long enough! Why didn't they show up in the last game? Good 
Good, not good enough. Oh, I'm committing you. ritual seppuku! Got two for the price of one, if you want to include killing yourself as that. More health. You know, just with that. Have fun with that grenade. I'm dead meat! We are the winners! Yay, we won the game. And we got an another gold medal. For an, infogra for an infograms port, this honestly is not bad. Nah. I'd still rather play the Steam version, but for what this can offer, it's not that bad. Alright, but enough of that, Worms Armageddon. It's time for us to spin the wheel yet again. Make sure it shows up. Yes, let's do so. Perfect time for me to bring this up. Finally, we get the mystery game. Only appropriate I do that. So now, probably the one thing I didn't prep myself for. What should I do for the master system? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, you know, Pan suffered through this game beforehand. I think it's only fair I suffer through it now. Which, speaking of, I should make sure that I find a screen that's appropriate for that. No, that's a different one. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Is there one? That is big enough. Uh, let's try Game Gear? Uh, no, that is not going to work. That is most definitely not going to work. Uh, let's just stick with Game Boy Color. Because I think that's the best we'll get. Yep, next game we are playing on the list is Rocky for the Sega Master System. And as far as I can tell, there's only three stages, but that first one is probably the easiest one you'll get, and then from there on out, it's just hard as all hell. Also, um, gotta make sure controls are functional. Uh, let's see, up, down, left, right, uh, one and two. Okay. Apparently, so, yeah. Pan must not... Apparently, Pen must not have played this. Uh, I'm pretty sure you did. The purpose of this training is to increase punching power and improve timing of your punches. Skillful punches while the sandbag is swaying. I get the feeling it was an all all shit game. I don't remember him playing this. You sure? I thought you did. So yeah, since I screwed up so much, I don't think I'm going to hit that uh, 60 hit qualifier. Yeah, I don't think I'll be hitting it. Dang, too. So I'm starting to get the rhythm now. Oh well. I 
They clearly did. True facts. Clearly did. Don't know who you're thinking of, son. It's a stretch, but I think you might have been thinking of the nerd. No, I thought at one point he did this for all, all shit games. You sure it wasn't a corruption stream? I'm pretty sure because it was one of those rapid fire punches he did at one point. Oh man, it could go either way at this point. I'm totally not saying this because I don't want this in the list. Nope, not me. We have to get through part of the list anyway before you open it back up. I think you're good. <laughs> Bunch them down just for him to get back down. A technical knockout. Through further training, try to also win the next match. May as well do this because why the hell not? Because I know this next match is where um, the kid gloves easily come off. Does it have to be two hits a second or below to qualify, or is it uh, above At that? least an average two hits per second to qualify for the upgrade. But you're not getting, because you had to, like, once? No, I think at the very least reach two, so long as it's, like, three or more, or two or more, I should say, you qualify for this. So next up, we go against Mr. T, or in the Universe Clubber lane. Yeah, because so, it's taking three fights from three from from three of the rock. Also, holy shit! You can just see how this is clearly wrecking my shit at this point. why my punches were not working. I blame the fact that I didn't get the training from um, the first round that didn't work. Yeah, just, just call me out and saying that I lost this one due to technical knockout. She survived a round. I'm quite surprised at that point, but yeah. I I'm not gonna be winning this match. I can already tell. If you have turbo he probably doesn't have it set up for a uh, master system. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, that's right. Just keep hugging the wall! Constantine, thank you so much for raid! Uh, I'm currently getting my ass handed to me by Clubber Lang at this point. <laughs> With the raid message being dirt Kool-Aid, <laughs> Oh my god, I actually made it up that time. I, I thought for sure I lost in a countdown. Not that it matters, because I'm going to get beaten by the technical knockout. <laughs> 
Yep. Ah. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's, let's set up. Let's set up the turbo. Let's make sure. Turbo button, um, one. button one. Button two. Alright, uh, actually, I got a better idea. Let's restart all together. Uh, there we go. Because I get the feeling, had I succeeded in this training, I probably would have gotten at least somewhat of a chance against Clubber Lang. <laughs> Unleash the drag turbo. Please no, man. Please no. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Just want to make sure I at least hit 60. Yeah, we got it. I know, I know what you were trying to do. Just the fact that you said unleash the drag turbo. Oh right, I forgot in the movie after he beat Apollo, he took after he beat Apollo free, he was given his shorts. Yep. That's why he was wearing them against Club. Yep, that's the point. So apparently, um, Despite you having to fight Apollo twice, according to the series, this is supposedly um, taking place during um, Rocky 2, because it immediately jumps into Clubber Lang once you beat Apollo just the first time. I can block these punches, I can block these pu- No, I can't. So now it's like the exact opposite of how it was in the Clubber Lang fight. So basically, unless you, unless you do the trainings properly, you're, you're fucked. That, that seems to be the case for these matches, it seems. Because it definitely seems like they're not in your favor. Especially with the Clubber Lang fight, it most definitely is not my favor. This game is skewed. <laughs> and this is just against the Clubber Lang fight. You can imagine how the fight with Ivan Drago is going to be. A.K.A. What? the final boss. Yeah, because wasn't... weren't the only movies up this time 1 through 6? Uh, 1 through 4, because 5 would have had Tommy Gunn. And, to be fair, Rocky 6 was just Rocky. No, Rocky 6 was... Rocky Bal... no, Rocky 6 was... Yeah, Rocky, Rocky 6 was Rocky Balboa, which is way later beyond this timeline. Holy shit! <laughs> Look at that turbo button go! Look at that turbo button go! Ah, the power of turbo. So while we're waiting for this to end, we want to read some donations. <laughs> If only we had donations, but I'm currently not set up for that. Yeah. No, it, it, it's a running joke to my friend. When something like this is happening, we're trying to kill time. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! He's dead! He's already he's dead! He's dead. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's see how this fight goes this time around. Ah! 
so you got me up in the face there. It's got you pinned right now. Yeah. We are basically just exchanging punches at this point. Ah! Actually got me there. Holy shit! Turbo buttons make it to get up a lot easier. Still in his favor. Still, which I'm not surprised. Because unlike him, I suffered a knockdown. And yeah, almost never let go of turbo and you should win. Seven, seven per second is max. I'm not sure why this is one. I don't know either. I've never played this game. Mad. This is probably gonna be a win by TKO. Probably. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Not stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. No, he's gonna get back no. up. No, no technical knockout. You lose. Oh no! Now it's now it's even. So we go into round three. This is the deciding one then. Yeah, but if I don't knock him down this time around, I get the feeling if it's max three rounds, uh, he might still win. Which, let's be fair, I think I'm still going to lose regardless. With how little health you have left, that's, that's a given. This is a punch fest at this point. Oh fuck, he dodged! Yeah. Second knockdown, let's see. Nope, TKO. Let's see. Four? There's a round four. I mean, I'll take it. It still means I'm technically still in this to potentially win it. Uh, come on, Rocky, you can do this. Is he um, starting to gain the advantage? Are you kidding me? He's getting slaughtered up there. He's going to die on his feet. Let's be fair, at the rate I'm going, that's probably how it's going to be in real life. Nah. I'm still in this to win this. For some odd reason. Ah, no. Game over. Not necessarily. Because if it's saying retry the challenge, then that means I still have a chance to win this. So sure, let's get back to multiple punches here. This is probably for speed more than anything. Most likely. But yeah, we can agree, um, whether it gives me the option for a rematch or just a pure game over, next chance I lose, we'll say that's good enough and switch to the next game. Hmm. 
And of course, this is me using the turbo buttons to my quote-unquote advantage. You can only imagine how hard it would be if turbo was not an option. I saw a video where that's literally what they did in Oh, hey, Johnny Torso. Long Torso, how's it going? Where's the thing? Here's the thing, Johnny Long Torso. Plus this I is... realized something. Um, I've been fighting at the top this whole time. Not necessarily um, his stomach area, so I'm going to see if that works. But so far, it seems to be the case. I'm getting a point advantage. So far, it hasn't been able to land a hit on me, so, this so far it seems to be working. I think I found his weakness! GUT PUNCHES! We might actually get to see the final boss. Yeah, because I was going for more headshots last time around, this time we're going for gut punches. And all he needs is to falter one more time, and we can win by technical knockout. Hey! Wait, that's only a second knockdown? No, you haven't knocked him down more than one. I already got him down one. Oh, come on, one more time. Falafel! 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 Nah, oh, man. You still got the advantage. I don't care! I was hoping I could end this fight so that way we can go see Ivan Drago. Okay, first knockdown. Fall, you bastard! Uh. Okay, second knockdown. Yeah, that's right, Clubber Lang. Keep humping the wall. And by humping the wall, I mean the floor. Like, can you please just go down? You almost have no health left. Thank you. Ah. Through further training, try to also win the next match. So now it's time for the final matchup here. The purpose of this training is to increase your accuracy. While following the movement of the mitt, punch it at the exact moment it stops. Oh, crap. Oh. Also, Mickey, why are you still here? You should be dead! I mean, I ain't saying, but you should be dead right now. Not too concerned because since I'm able to make more multiple hits, I should, he would should have this in the bag. Good. Like that guy said, you're gonna eat lightning and crap out thunder. You're gonna become a very dangerous poison. Time for the final boss, Ivan Drago! Uh, maybe? Maybe? 
speed. If I can keep him at bay, that might work. That, that's exactly what I'm doing right now, Pan. So far, I haven't been touched yet, so I'll take it. I don't know if I'll technical knockout beat him, but at the very least, I should get the point advantage. So, let's go for that. <laughs> Points for Drago? How do you even manage to get nine? Probably for the health. If I had to, if I had to guess. But if that's the case, that's stupid. Get a hit. Good for you. Uh, I'm gonna try a silly move and try to encroach in his territory. And again, I must emphasize, why is Mickey here? He should already be dead according to the timeline. So apparently, uh, despite um, the whole Simpsons quote of uh, Rocky Seven being Adrian's revenge, apparently this is Mickey's revenge. I mean, I'm still technically doing more damage to him, so I'm not complaining of any sorts. But come on, some consistency. We haven't even here. That's we haven't I'm even saying. knocked him down once. So far, I'm not complaining. We still have point advantage. I'll take what I can get at this point. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. First face punch, I'll take it. Say, would you take the damn hits already? I'm gonna try and switch it up a bit. Some gut punches, some uh, face blows. Coming a hell of a lot more, though, so I'm a bit concerned about that. Yeah, he's back to almost full health. And I'm pretty sure I haven't uh, changed my health status for quite a while. Gain advantage. Oh God! Give me a bit with the gut punches. Okay, I'm still getting points. Not complaining about that. Ah. 
not the time to get distracted by these punches. So intense! So intense! How many rounds does this go? Got me more uh, hits in for myself, which I don't think is a fair trade. I mean, if you want my honest opinion on that. <laughs> okay, seriously though, how many hits or how many rounds does this go to anyway? Because I am seriously starting to get a bit confuzzled here. rounds I'm, I'm hoping that's the case because my god this has been going on for freaking ever we haven't knocked him down once neither have we fallen down so I'll take our losses at this point But still, we knocked him down at least once. Hopefully by 10 rounds, it's winner by decision. I hope so, because good lord. If this goes to around 11, I say gong immediately. <laughs> But I'm already at the final stage! I want to see what happens at this point! <laughs> and I knocked him down for once! Don't care! Down one. Knocked him down, down twice! Two. One more time and it's TKO! Round 11?! Why?! We have to go until we actually knock this fucker down three times. Oh god, I hope not. We'll be here all day! <laughs> In 
infinite boxing! <laughs> this is the fight that never ends! Okay, it just goes on one. and on, cause fuck you! Okay, down one. Please tell me at the very least it's 15 rounds. I hate to think of how far this would go if it was any longer than that, because good lord. Down. <laughs> if it goes up to 255 rounds, you get a kill screen. Round 13! Round 13! Give it up for day 13! Oh my goodness. One knockdown. Come on, you Come bastard! On. Come on! Fall! Fall! Gunsee! Damn it! Gunsee! One more moment, Come on! Ah! Round fourteen! <laughs> If a hell truly exists, we are living in it. Uh... Ah, shit! Cap, 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 cap. Okay, you guys are one for one. Can't really afford to let to take any more falls. Indeed. Like the Borg, he's adapted. Ugh. Don't even care. Only, Buys me some time. Was, yeah, I was only down two, so. Don't even care. Time round fifteen. <laughs> One down. Uh, just injected into my face.
Round two. two. <laughs> the way we're going, yes, this fight will last just as long as the original Rocky Six film. Ah. Thank hey! you, God! Fifteen <laughs> rounds of suffering. Congratulations! We Jerry did it! Man. We did it! <laughs> what the game? <laughs> ah! The real heavyweight champion is Turbo Buttons. Turbo Buttons, the real heavyweight champion. Good Turbo Lord. Buttons MVP. Ah! Uh, Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> uh, good Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness. Now, despite all that has happened thus far, despite all that's happened thus far, I'm actually suicidal enough to attempt one more round of emulation. <laughs> Give that wheel a good spin, because why the fuck not? And the last game we will be playing today is for the Game Boy Advance. Now, what did I have for Game Boy Advance 1? Oh, great. <laughs> sure! Sure, why not? Extreme close-up! Whoa! You can stop that now, music. So, here's the thing. This was an awesome arcade game. Even a good port of it for the Sega Genesis. Here, though... Uh, at least they tried? That's all I'll say. At least they tried. But yes, we are playing Altered Beast, Guardian of the Realms. Is this even a port? I feel like this is a... I, I feel, feel like, like it's a pseudo-port, pseudo-remake, pseudo-something uh, weird shit they pulled out of their ass. And all swap buttons does is replace one button for kick, the other for punch, and vice versa. Uh, yes, thank you. We don't need it here. Uh, did it seriously, uh, wait, uh, oh shit, it's remembering the old progress that I did, shit, <laughs> I wonder if there's a way how to, oh god, there isn't, oh god, there isn't, well, whatever, to move forward with this, so why the hell not? Yeah. Ah. Also, gotta love the weird look that these pseudo zombies have. Not saying, just saying. Slumbad, I command you to wise from your grave and save my daughter. Lumpstar, you don't have a daughter. Oh, I mean, wise man. Go save my wise man. Hey, it could be. I will say it could be worse. We can be can playing imagine. Space. We can be playing Space Channel Five on Game Boy Advance. Oh jeez! All the weird ports that they made for the GBA. Space Channel Five somehow works and doesn't at the same time. 
because I support Space Channel 5 War. And. Ah. I mean. And of course, we need to kill those red magicians in order to actually obtain a power up. I'm willing to bet the bars are how, how many bars are there, how many lives you have left. Which means... Extra life! Oh, you got an extra one. Though I have to admit, I am doing much better this time around, because yes, this is another one of those games I had to experiment to figure out if it was working or not. And I had the hardest of times to learn... Oh yeah, uh, apparently shoulder buttons help you jump. I mean, they have to do something. I know, but I just got so used to the fact, well, these shoulder buttons, they usually do nothing, so they probably mean nothing now. Boy, do you think you have to tap A and B together to jump? That would be, that'd that, be too obtuse. That's what I thought. That'd be too obtuse. Uh, would you really put it that past um, a GBA port, in all fairness? Power up. Steroid up. Also, I didn't get to see what that one was. Uh, that one not surprise me if it was something like Earthquake or Improves. Uh, Wouldn't be an Altered Beast game without the looping until you get to your animal form. Oh, Johnny Long Torso, thank you very much for the follow. Getting close to that affiliate status, I tell you. Uh, chat isn't showing up on stream. Uh, let's take care of that so you don't spawn in. Same thing for you. Earthquake! No! Worse! One more! Uh, okay, uh, could I actually get a decent power up? I mean, I know it's not much, but it's not much. Ambrosia! Just what I needed. Full health. And beast form. Arctic Arcanus. So now it's time to never let go of the kick button. Unless of course more than these need to spawn in. Man, the V-Sync does not like this animation. I can't imagine why, it's almost like there's too much shit on the screen. Extra life! I wonder, is it time for the boss? Welcome. Time for the most original the boss there ever lived. Thank you, welcome. I'm gonna guess that you can't just damage this guy normally, so you have to destroy so you have to destroy the pillars in order to make the damn thing fall. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Forgot, what's his name from Eternal Darkness? Sandy's Requiem. I don't I've never played it. I but you know who I'm talking about, that one centurion. Um, who got turned undead. We're basically going up against him at this point. I didn't think you actually had a game. Also, that was stage one. Oh, 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 and speaking oh, of stage oh. one, that was a stage one boss. Talisman recovered. Arctic Canis. 
Apparently you didn't get that one. Time for stage two. AKA uncharted territory. Indeed. Oh, uh, it would also help if I were to kick the right way. There we go. Something tells me this game was rated T for T. I'd be surprised if this got an E rating. Uh, I would not be so shocked if it was E rating because of uh, fantasy violence. Uh, Constantine asks, how's the viewer average? What he follows? Um, right now, it was currently at like 2.5 or so, but then again, I've been having some low uh, viewer ratings as of late, so that might change after this stream. Oh, you have... I, I think I figured out why it's not showing up, but still. The text hasn't scrolled up enough yet. Chat's only now catching up. Alright, so apparently got a shield a while ago. Guardian! Ambrosia! A full health. Uh, I'm looking at this. I'm seeing T for T. T for T for mild violence. Ah, let go of me. No. Ah. Yep, rated T for mild violence. So this level's about kicking Spider-Man in the ass. Fair enough. So hey, first life lost. Now let's actually kill them for real. Okay, no, it's just... And adrenaline. Okay, it's actually easier to kill them via punches. But I guess now that I have the power of that would make the most sense. Except for those purplish pink ones that take multiple hits. Probably up to defense. Hey, 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 hey! Of course I was they have a an spider web. There was nothing I could do there. Of course they have an immobilization. Power up. Power up. Uh, I guess I'm excited about that. Ah! Ah! You have to mash buttons in order to free yourself from the spider webs. Ah! Nothing in there. Ah! Stop speeding. Wasn't there an Ultra Beast game on the PS2? Yes, although it was nothing like, um,. This game, or the Genesis slash arcade version, where you were basically part of a science experiment of sorts, and every once in a while you go through transformations. Last I checked, that game was not good. What? Yeah, because I also know about the quote unquote reboot they tried to do of Alien Syndrome, which got a PSP version. Extra life! I think there, though, it's more of a first person shooter. Which only makes me wonder how will that work on PSP, considering you don't have two sticks. It's already bad enough Battlefront makes one stick to, to he has the uh, and the analog again. This time, Nagi! New transformation, as far as I can tell. Yeah, this one was not in uh, the original game. 
The original game only had the bear. Uh, the wolf, wolf, dragon, bear, and tiger. If unless you want to include the golden werewolf as a power transformation. Well, that was Even that was the that's final basically boss, just right? a palette swap. But yeah, yeah, that was for the final boss, right? Yeah, that one was strictly for the final boss, the golden werewolf. Ambrosia, thank you. Uh. Hey, it's the things from Gold Next. Welcome to your doom. Welcome to your doom. Welcome to your doom. Oh, we're going up against the sandworms from Doom. I was thinking the Sarlacc, but okay. I mean, the Sarlacc was a sandworm anyway, it's still, it's still works. Pretty much. I don't really matters. Well, we got extra lives out the Wazoo, I'm not too concerned about this Oh, okay, no, that's right. The, the images at the side are your lives. But I thought. I have three lives left. Man, that could be a lot more descriptive. There we go, boss is finally dead, and... And an extra continue. Life, okay. Although no, I don't continue. think we got a medallion from there, not that it matters, because we are just... doing this because why the hell not. Talisman's recovered. None. Whatever. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So basically, the shadow of Rocky is still lingering with us because that was just round two. My god. Learn a. This game's gonna learn a thing or two. Oh wait, we're in the uh, haunted woods from Mortal Kombat. Oh Jesus Christ! I did not want anything to do. Please, thank you. And I mean that quite literally, because I am, I am seriously afraid of beasts. Freaking the fuck. Ah, you suck. Will you fault already, damn bees? There. Damn bees. Damn bees, I tell you. Power. Oh. P Ray. Okay. Did you did you know that there is a version of Rayman? What's up about Rayman? Rayman had a Game Boy Advance for the original. I would not be surprised if it was based on the original Rayman. It is. It's called Rayman Anniversary and it's horrible. It's one of the worst versions of the game. Because not only is it just as hard, the screen crunch makes the game nigh on. Aww, because I have full health, I can't pick up the Ambrosia. Damn. The screen crunch makes the game nigh unplayable. Because GBA and they didn't want to shrink the sprites. Inner fire! He's 
on fire. Must be the shoes. From downtown. From downtown. Boom, shaka waka. I know it's shaka laka, but every time I play the Genesis version, I swear to God, I hear a waka after the laka bit. Plus, I find hilarious irony of the announcer being Fozzy Bear. Boom, shaka waka. Yeah, me, me, you will do no such harm to me. You will do no such harm to me, me. And second power up. So I just need to worry about one more. He's on fire! No, literally, it's on fire. Regeneration, even though it's not really necessary because I didn't take a hit. Now I did! Maybe it acts as a shield if you haven't taken a hit. Ah! Ah! I'm just making up random shit at this point. Yeah! Adrenaline! You move so fast until it wears out. Draco the Dragon! So, pretty much the same as a dragon from Genesis, only uh, you can't fly for an infinite amount of time. Well, yeah, because that was kind of broken. Yeah, you gotta be fair over there. Shockwave. It was helpful, yes. Extremely broken, very. But that was the best part about the flight for the dragon. It made it so, if you timed it correctly, you can easily cheese the second boss without taking a hit. Yeah, it also made it so you wouldn't be able to beat it. By any enemies if you did it right, so... Already at full health, can't pick up Ambrosia. Unless already at the boss? Already at the boss. Already at the boss. Ah, the Hedra. Oh, hey, the Triclide. More Triclide than the two. Oh, no, it regained its head. Well, that's all, then, so, well, but of course, you, you can't perma kill it unless you, um, destroy the neck as well. Well, yeah, because snakes can't regenerate the heads. Will you forget the head slicing thing? I don't care if it's a myth or not. I think we've seen enough of this game, so we'll call it the end after this boss. Also, I just saw the ghost of... The one up passed by. I want one up! You can't make me! No. Can't reach the one up thingy. How dare you? How dare you all? Maybe it'll still be there after I beat this boss. Okay, one, one. Head, neck, thing of the doodles down. Uh. Oh, you bastards! Two. Also, 
I just realized I can reach it now. That would have helped. Ah, fall already! Concede, damn you. Concede! Talisman's recover. Done. Though I haven't seen anything related to that, though, it wouldn't surprise me, considering when I tested the first stage, didn't find anything up until then. I wonder if it's one of those you moments where have you have to, to beat the stage the first, time. and then it gives you the opportunity to collect the talisman afterwards. But, at any rate, I said after that boss we would be done. I do not want to make a liar out of myself. So I think that is a good enough place to stop as any. <clears throat> so with that said, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. And why is the end of the screen not... Th there we go. Okay, thank you all for watching. Special thanks to Jeff for the co-commentary. And thank you, Johnny Long Torso, for the follow. Which brings me even one step closer to getting that affiliate status rank. So now the real question is, who do I send you guys off to? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, that's interesting. You know what? I think I am going to send you guys on over. And since there's enough people here, let's go ahead and... Let's raid... Family Jewels, who is currently going through a speed run of Super Mario 3D World, specifically Bowser's Fury. Hmm. Let's go for our raid message being Jim, any boxing rounds? I think that sums it up nice and neat for that. But until then, that is going to do it for me. Tomorrow, uh, since I took a break from it this week, uh, tomorrow we will resume the Ninja Warrior speed running, And I might make that from now on a once every other week sort of thing. But yes, that'll do it for me. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. And until then, folks, take care. And I shall see you all later, everyone. Bye-bye.